At first this might not seem like a subject for a fitness video, but I get this question about gynecomastia fairly often, so let's explain it. To start with a definition, gynecomastia basically means that a male chest starts looking more female through developing more breast tissue. Basically there are two causes for this and number one is body weight. If you are overweight you have more fat tissue than you should on your entire body and of course some of that ends up on your chest and then that chest starts looking more female and if you suffer from that form of gynecomastia if you know you are overweight and should lose weight then that is exactly what you should do to get rid of the gyno because through losing weight the more female looking chest usually goes away. The second form of gynecomastia, which they also call the real gynecomastia, is caused by an imbalance between two hormones in your body, the male hormone testosterone and the female hormone estrogen. Men normally have a, a much more testosterone than they have estrogen, but sometimes this balance gets a bit disturbed. Now when do these disturbances happen? And for many men they do when they start going through puberty. In fact, 50 to 60 percent of all boys when they start going through puberty experience gynecomastia because puberty is a time when your body starts producing a whole lot more hormones and it has to work on getting the balance between all them right. And getting this balance takes it some time and at some point it may produce more estrogen than it should and this is where you get gynecomastia and this more female looking chest. But very important, sooner than later, usually after about six months to two years, it has sorted it all out and the gynecomastia goes away by itself. In grown-up men gynecomastia can happen as well and then it is usually due by something in your body causing a hormonal imbalance. And because you can't say where this hormonal imbalance comes from, you should really see your doctor and he should then tailor a solution that works for you specifically. Of course the same goes for all of you. If you're unsure about what is happening to your body, visit your doctor and make sure. Don't take this video as a replacement for seeing your doctor, in other words. And because I have to keep this video short, I compiled some more resources right here for you where you can get a lot more background info. And this is it. As always guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.